welcome back to the Tarot Cottage. My name is Amy. I'm back today with a pick a card reading for you. Um, I just want to take a moment to thank everyone who participated in the poll that I released on my community tab this week um, about what sort of content you guys want to see me make um, moving forward. Um, so thank you to everybody who participated. If you haven't seen the poll, you guys can check that out and make your vote for which type of content you want me to create in the future. And if you have suggestions about video content, about sort of topics you want to see me cover, please drop them in the comment box. Um, that's a great way to both leave a comment and then put in your hat in the ring for the free reading as well. So be sure to drop your comments and your suggestions in the comment box below. So welcome to all my beautiful returning subscribers. Welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for being here and welcome to everyone who has never seen me before and who has stumbled across this reading for the very first time. We want to welcome you to our beautiful soul family here. Please pull up a chair, get cozy, and we're going to have a little chat because we're all friends when we gather at this table together. For today's topic, we are going to look at messages from your future self. So an urgent message that your future self has for you today. Um, we have three piles to choose from. Pile number one here with the pink flower. Pile number two with the yellow flower. And pile number three with the purple flower. So whichever pile or piles are calling out to you, because you can definitely be attracted to more than one pile, um, there may be a message waiting today and my timestamps are listed below. Again, today's topic is all about your future self. So the higher version of yourself who can see beyond the point that you're in in your moment of experience right now, they have a future message for you about what is in store and what is coming up for you in the future, or perhaps some um, obstacles to avoid if, if you're able to. So three piles to choose from. My timestamps are listed below. I'm going to jump right into pile number one. Hello, pile number one. You were drawn to the pink flower. Or perhaps you were drawn to this card, the trust card, number nine, the crystal cave. Now the crystal, for me, crystals are all about communication because they communicate so much to us and they're all about clarity and, and they help us to grow and evolve and to tap into potential. And so you may be in sort of a period right now where you don't know what's coming. You don't have a lot of clarity over your next step and you don't trust where you're going. While your higher self, your newer version of yourself, not newer, but your future version of yourself has been sitting where you're sitting right now and can see beyond that. So they are asking for some trust in the situation as it stands. And this could be a lot of different things in your life that seem to be imploding at the same time. So you may be feeling frustrated. You may be feeling um, sort of a lack of direction in life. And they want to communicate to you, first of all, um, there's already a message coming through about that, about, yeah, there's an aspect of confidence. It's like stripping your confidence, but the future version of yourself says you don't need to be so concerned about what's happening right now. It's not some sort of proclamation or some sort of testament to a lack of growth or you being off track because we often ask ourselves that when we're in a period of frustration when we're not feeling confident we're like we obviously took the wrong path and i'm completely off track and how could i possibly move out of this cycle but they're letting you know that things are actually happening as they're supposed to right now they can feel your struggle your future self can see it she recognizes it but she, there's also this lesson coming in about the probability of success for you and, and also about how this was designed. Some of these obstacles, you yourself designed them into your soul contracts. Like you, you put this into your soul contract because you knew that you could master it and because you felt like that was something you wanted to experience in this, in this practical realm. But that they just want you to have more confidence in yourself. That's why we started with the six of wands because your higher self, your future self is saying, I know that we're going to make it through this rough path. And I know from the spiritual perspective that we're right on track. So don't let the practical obstacles that are in your way right now that are contributing to um, insecurity, um, comparison to other people's experiences. Don't let that steal your focus. They're asking you for faith in this moment because they are saying that you compare yourself to people too much. But there's, you know, there's, there's no comparison to greatness. You can look at someone who has everything that you want and maybe they're a wonderful person and they have everything and they deserve it. But that doesn't have to negate your experience. The mountains and the sea are both magical and beautiful and both huge and expansive, but they don't have to compete. They don't have to compete because they're both beautiful in different ways. So there is your future self, the high priestess with the knight of swords, assuring you that this too shall pass. This period of, of it's almost like, I don't know what my next step is. It's like I I I'm may have been living my life for other people perhaps for a long time or really kind of making decisions based on what other people expected me to, to take. And now I'm like, that's not happiness for me. 
It's like I did what everybody told me I should do and I'm still not feeling like I'm on track. I'm still not, I'm still not, it's like I feel like I'm behind in the race. And that's what they want you to understand is that the human race isn't necessarily a competitive race. This too shall pass. I keep hearing this too shall pass. And your future self is saying that this feeling of uncertainty and, and in, you know, sort of a insecurity that's willing up inside of you, um, you're basing it off of what you know to be true in this present moment. It's like you're basing it off of your past. You're basing, sorry, I bumped you. Based you off of your past, your expectations, your own fears and insecurities welling up. But your higher self, your future self says, I'm basing my information based off of the reality of the situation. Right now, the Knight of Swords will gather information that he thinks that is true and he'll run forward with it. But sometimes people are chasing him down that road saying, but wait, you don't have all the information yet. And that's what your future self is saying. You don't have all the information yet. So you don't need to feel like you're behind. Because you don't see the full spectrum. You don't see the full tapestry of your story. Because this is just, they're like, this is just a tiny pause point in your journey. And this is just educating you and giving you the necessary credit that you need to take with you to that next course. It's kind of like, you know, when you go to university and you have to take psychology one, then you have to say, take psychology two. We are just moving through lessons in this experience. And so maybe you've hit a bit of a, a rough patch with psychology one, but they're moving you. You need that psychology one to move into psychology two. So spirit and your higher self, your future self says, don't worry. You're just gassing up for the next chapter of your journey. And they're already, you can see there's two people here, two people here celebrating at the finish line. And it really speaks to sort of your higher self leading you the way that you would lead your inner child when we talk about shadow work and we talk about, you know, going back and giving our inner child a space to grow and exercise their own demons. The same thing is happening with your higher self and you, with your future self and you. You are like the inner child of your future self. And so they're just ministering to you. <laughs> they're letting you know who you truly are. They do not back down now from opposition, from fear, from competition. You're not in competition with anyone. You are already this empress, the emperor. It doesn't have to be feminine energy. It just has to be energy. And that's what you are. You're very unique and you're very special. This star of Aquarius with the empress energy is giving me like VIP feelings. <laughs> It's like celebrity feelings. It's like spiritual celebrity. That's what they're calling you, a spiritual celebrity. And so even though in this moment, you're operating off of what you do know, your future self says, I know something you don't know about the future, about abundance, about all of the goals you have towards what creates abundance in your perspective. Because I'm getting a motherhood energy from someone. I'm getting an abundance in the financial financial energy from someone else because I'm dealing with collective energy. So lots of information is coming in. And we have so many different worries that can fuel and add to our hurdles that they're completely unnecessary. We just keep piling more and more on top. And so your future self is saying you don't need to worry about a thing. And I just heard that song from that one Disney movie, Sing. Don't you worry about a thing. And that's what they're playing in my head now. Don't you worry about a thing. Worry is wasteful, useless. And it's like praying for something you don't want. I feel like there's a loneliness that could be impeding or competing with your focus right now. Um, and Spirit says, first of all, again, you don't have to worry about a thing because you're walking through the passages of your transformation and you're going to get to exactly where you want to be. And you're going to be sort of glad in some regards that certain things didn't work out, that certain comparisons that you made to yourself and other people didn't work out. You're going to be really glad that that happened because spirit and your higher self is saying, if you're lonely, if you're waiting for love, that's right around the corner. That's right around the corner in this present moment. So don't start operating from this feeling of I'll never I could never get. I'll be happy when. Your higher self says, no, we're not doing that anymore. We're not doing that anymore. We're, we're focusing on information that's going to be contributing to our experience. We have more information coming. We have more that's going to be revealed to us in this present moment. So your, your future self is saying, just have faith. I'm on one side of this bridge and you're on the other and I'm helping you get across safely. And they're also acknowledging how you feel like you've been kept waiting for so many different things in your life. And that could be sort of the essence of your experience to this point of like, I've, I'm have i the last to know, <laughs> I'm the last to get my driver's license, I'm the last to get into a relationship, I'm the last to get married, I'm the last and last and last. 
but you're not last. That's just a perspective issue. It's all about semantics. And when I think of the Six of Swords, I often think about the higher self, the present version of ourselves, and then the inner child tra traversing this experience together. And they're like, if we let you in on all of the secrets, if we let you in on everything, you're not going to make it to that shore of clarity and scathes. Like, we can't let you in on every aspect of your lesson, or it won't be a challenge. It's like, if, if, we, if we are devoid of challenges in our experience, we'll never learn anything. We'll never learn how to, to weather storms, ultimately. So you're already in transit. You're Yes, they're saying you're already a part of a new foundation. So they need you to feel more confident. Your, your future self says confidence is your key to success in this new chapter. And we need to apply a new force than what we've applied up to this point that led to the overthinking, that led to the fear, that led to the comparison energy, the loneliness. It's like since we've already applied that that negative vibration, we might as well change directions and try to apply a positive force, positive expectations towards goals. Because your your future self just said you're going to get there. But you're not going to take the same timeline, the same vehicle, the same frequency as everybody else because you're a very unique soul. You're a VIP, which means that you, you're going to do things differently and you're designed to. So hold on, they're saying, hold on through this period. The nines are all out for you. We started here um, with the, the nine, the nine, the nine. Even the trust, I believe, is a nine. Yes, it is. So they're like, you're going to get through this period very, very soon. In fact, they're seeing a big turnaround um, very, very soon, maybe perhaps even within a month, because here's the death energy. There's your high priestess, and there's your four of wands. And you can see that all these panda bears, I often think about sort of how how clumsy they are. They kind of roll around when they're babies. They're kind of clumsy little bears, you know? Um, and how you maybe feel like everything that's happened up to this point in your experience has been clumsy or has been kind of, it's like I didn't realize I was taking certain steps through my passage of transformation. I didn't, I wasn't aware of that. And that's why spirit wants you to have more confidence in what's coming. Because even though it's like, even though you're in a period right now where you're frustrated, especially in the love realm or in the emotional realm, they're saying you can still look back at your experience and see lots of positive things that you have experienced in your past. And you didn't even have to really focus on that positive aspect in order to achieve some of those goals. And so then now they say that with that focus, you're unstoppable. You're absolutely unstoppable. Again, four of wands, passages of your transformation. They just need a little bit more focus from you. There's an emphasis on Aquarius energy here, on Leo energy. They're just saying they want you to be focused upon your journey and kind of strip it away from the emotional waves that you're feeling at this moment because have faith. Love is coming. They're saying love is coming. A message from your future self, please. We have here the future. And I just heard that song, the rest is still unwritten. It's so mutable. And your future self says, don't fill it with unnecessary negativity or unnecessary expectations of failure here, because that's a ghost that's following us. And we want to exercise the demons. That's what we want, because your future self says that sometimes when we're in that aspect of uncertainty and negative uncertainty, we are self-sabotaging our own frequency in that moment. And because it's our frequency, we get to hold mastery over it. We get to call that power back to us. And so you're such a powerful being. They just want you to realize the power that you're, that you're expressing right now. It's like, use it for good. Use it for good instead of fueling more negative experiences at yourself at this time. A message, please, from your future self. We have here, be playful and just have fun with it. They, your future self wants you to embrace this in-between period and have more fun in your experience with the full knowledge and confidence that the things that you desire wouldn't be implemented as desires in your heart of hearts if it wasn't a possibility for you. And so they want you to know that, again, whatever your, whatever your future desires are, I feel like loneliness is a priority number one. I see that being resolved with new emotional starts coming in. But also there's a dynamic of like reaching the pinnacle in our career, reaching a place of security in relationships, reaching a place of perhaps parent, parenthood or motherhood or fatherhood. And all of these things are well within your desires and well within your ability to manifest. So even if you're feeling that frustration and you're wondering when is this going to end, your future self is coming forward to say it's ending very soon. Have faith, trust me, embrace the in-between. 
because they're asking for coasting energy into the next chapter. Let's get a charm bowl, please, for pile number one. Whoopsie daisy, ten of cups. There is such a, a strong sense of abundance surrounding family. Um, and that ace of cups that we saw earlier, where'd it go? Over here. The ace of cups that we saw earlier, that's just the beginnings. That's just the beginnings of, of the next chapter for you. It's like we're going to build upon that ace of cups. We can't get there overnight from the ace to the ten, but we're going to build upon it. There's the king of cups. Eight of Pentacles. Now the King of Cups is the most emotional of all the kings. Um, so you could be the Divine Masculine and you're really working towards having your desires fulfilled or you want a Divine Masculine energy in to help complete the cycle here, to help kind of finalize the whole picture. But it's like I've been working for it, waiting for it, waiting for it with no reward. So how long do I have to be kept waiting? Spirit says we don't have to be kept waiting because we're not waiting for anything. We're living right now, but your wait is almost over. <laughs> And they're worth it. That's what they want you to know. It's like when my husband asks my daughter if she wants one cookie now. Oops. It's the beauty charm. I threw my back out, so I'm not going to go get it. But it's the beauty charm. It says beauty on it. Um, my husband asks my daughter if she wants a cookie now or two after dinner. It's like that's what spirit's asking for you. Do you want quali quality or do you want quantity? Because they're bringing in quality for you. We have will. We have live live the life you love regardless of what's kind of included in that experience it's time to live the life that you love we have here the forget me not we also have the letter s and we have the star of Aquar aquarius sometimes you may feel like the universe has forgotten about you when it comes to love when it comes to connection because here's the six of cups or when it comes to children potentially but we have the stethoscope, which is about clearing out that heart chakra with un with unnecessary low vibration because the heart chakra is the seat of the soul. We are driving this physical body through the seat of our soul. And so we have to make sure that that's in a very positive place. All right, my dears, that's what I have for you today. I hope it resonated with you. If it did, please drop that comment below so that I can enter you in for a chance to win a free reading with me. Be sure to hit your notification bell, um, your like button. It helps me bring you guys more content. And check out my links below for Etsy for a personal reading if you feel called to. But I hope that you come back here and visit me on another day at the Tarot Cottage, and I hope you have a great day. Hello, pile number two. You were drawn to the yellow flower, and this is your reading. A message from your future self that you may need to hear right now. We have Passage. You can see she's all dressed in red. I think of the Four of Wands. It's number 40 as well. Um, and so there's an aspect with the fours that really ask us to... Um, retreat to the reality of our situation right now. So your future self is coming forward saying that the reality of your situation right now may differ in fact from what is coming in for you um, and may differ quite greatly from what your perspective is about that reality because even though we feel perhaps stagnant in the present, you may be walking through the passages of your transformation as we speak. So let's take a look here and see a message from your future self for pile number two, please. A message that you need to hear. Yes, you're on in transit. Ooh. On the floor. Okay, so it was <laughs> the Four of Cups reversed, the Ten of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. So, yeah, there's a huge message coming in here for you. A huge, huge message coming in from your future self. Because if you are feeling helpless or overlooked by the universe this this and there's a similarity to the message coming in about from pile number one actually here's the four of wands here on the back of the deck mirroring your beautiful passages card as well because i feel like you're unhappy when it comes to your emotional connections or love or where you are when it comes to commitments and family your security i feel like the divine feminine in this pile is really tired of being alone or really tired of being independent and wants to be able to exercise some of that the lessons that you've learned in that independent phase towards something productive like maybe even children or you have the three of cups the two of swords and the three of pentacles back of the deck is the four of pentacles and the tower your future self is asking you to prepare for great change, in fact. Not just your typical average change, but great change coming in for you. And truly, your future self says, 
you don't even have to do anything. You just have to enjoy yourself and have fun and just relax into this ex into this expansion. That's all you have to do is just enjoy it. They're already celebrating um, the Three of Cups here. There, there's an aspect of friendship um, on going out and having fun and a flirtation cycle that's opening up for you. And this is kind of going to turn things around for you almost overnight. That's what they're talking about. Your future self is like, you don't realize in this moment what you're involved in here. Again, you could already be in a flirtation cycle or hanging out with someone that you don't realize that, that this is that this could be the person for you that's coming in next or the person for you that you're hanging out with right this moment. That this there's an aspect of turns of events in your favor and movement coming in for you that you're going to be able to celebrate. It almost feels like a waiting cycle. Maybe you haven't been single, but you've been in a perpetual cycle of just not committing, not committing. But that's what your future self wants you to know is that get ready for commitments in different areas of your life. And it feels like you are going to be in a relationship or you are in a relationship with someone that is different from you. They could be a different culture, perhaps. They're just different. It's like they, they match you perfectly because they are different. We have the lovers. So this passages card, your higher self, your future self is really saying, again, if you're already hanging out with someone, this could be the one for you. If you haven't met this person yet, don't lose faith or hope because it's going to pop up for you very soon out of the blue. And I feel like it's going to happen within the next three to seven months, Spirit says. Emphasis on seven. You have the Knight of Swords. Your future self wants you to know that they're going to be adding more information to your experience that's going to shift how you view your experience, how you view life in general. Because my mom used to say this to me all the time. So, you know, Amy, things can change overnight. When you're feeling down, when you're feeling low, things can change overnight. And that's what they're telling me. Things are going to change for you overnight. If you're already in a relationship, it's like automatically you feel better. You feel better, like you feel more abundant because of something happening overnight. And it could be an offer coming in. So if you're already in a relationship, you could have a proposal coming your way. Um, in the very least, you could have some sort of proposal that solidifies your relationship as a, a coupledom, so to speak. Or it could be a full-fledged proposal. If you ha aren't in a relationship with someone, you have one knocking on the door. You have a new relationship coming in for you. Clarify that ten of wands, please. They just say that you're so burdened by what you don't know right now. It's like, I want to know everything. And it does feel very drawn to the divine feminine energy because she does want to feel security. That queen of pentacles here, she wants to feel security. And so there's an aspect of like, I want to know what's coming in the future. I don't want to be surprised. I don't want to, but there is an aspect here about your future self saying you do want to be surprised in certain aspects of your life. Especially when it comes to things like proposals, for instance, if there's already a, a long-standing connection. But even when it comes to like new emotional starts, it's exciting when we have something pop in out of the blue here. And what's popping in for you is the Ace of Cups. So it's like they're telling you to prepare for it. A new emotional starts or a new, again, peace coming in to heal what is uncertain in you when it comes to your position in the emotional realm. It's like you're, you're going to get some peace that comes in. Peace in the form of a brand new relationship and brand new opportunity. Peace in the form of perhaps a proposal and a current standing relationship. But you're, you're walking through the passages of your transformation. You're building upon a foundation. So don't fear, your future self says. It's like there's no need for you to keep... Oh, there's the Nine of Cups. There's no need for you to keep yourself hidden or to keep your heart space blocked. They want you to take your blinders off. Be prepared by looking at the horizon because they say you may have put your blinders on because you're operating off of an old, old musical, so to speak. It's like you're operating off of old information. Old information that perhaps was stemmed from your past or from your expectations there. But we're, we're adding new information. There's new information coming in. And what I love about this is that they're asking for you to take off your blinders now. Because when we combine the nine and the ace of cups, that is the ten of cups. And here it is. Not only are you going to kind of have clarity over some dissatisfaction and apathy that you're experiencing but this is real practical change towards emotional growth and it starts with the page and it starts with the ace but it lands us to the 19 it lands us to the clarity to the sun to joy 
And so there, your highest self, your future self is saying, hold tight, <laughs> just hold tight. We're, and there's my light going out. We're closing out the old chapter and we're moving on to bigger, brighter, better things and better people too at the same time. And there goes that light out. That one light is out. The other one is burning bright. We have here the ghost of the past. And there it's reversed because we're eliminating the ghost from the past at this time. And we're calling back our power. That's why your future self is saying, keep your wits about you um, during this next chapter. And enjoy it. They really want you to enjoy this next chapter. We have Lantern and it was reversed because they're saying that we need to adjust our hope and adjust our focus. And instead of letting the past defeat us, they want it to empower us moving forward because we're transcending, we're rising above with the wings. And so in order to join our higher self, our future self from that perspective, we need to first try to eliminate the emotional realm that will threaten to steal our focus. Because we're not just transcending, you know, spiritually, we're transcending in the physical form too. Um, we're moving into a new relationship or we're moving into, again, a deepening connection within our already present relationship at this time. There's a message from your future self, please. We have archways. You are in for new opportunities, possibilities, and paths to open up. And we have lobster financial pinch, but it's not about finances. It's about vulnerability and how your future self says vulnerability is the very aspect and essence of humanity. So we have to embrace it in this next chapter. We have to say yes to change. We have to say yes to new opportunities. We have to push ourselves out of our comfort zone. We do have beware of greed with the pig energy. And when I think about the pig, I think about the four of pentacles and I think about a sort of insecurity that drives us from acting in our own best interest sometimes. We have dark woman. Dealings a relationship with a woman with dark hair. We have eagle. Triumph over troubles and obstacles coming in for you. And spiritual guidance and protection from harm. And that is your higher self. First of all, saying how much they love you. There's such a beautiful spiritual love that exists here between ourselves and our higher self. Because if you think about your inner child, it's like I have so much compassion and love for that little person, you know, that little person that I'm no longer, I'm no longer that little girl, but I have so much compassion for her as a separate entity almost. And so they just want you to know that they're guiding you here. They're guiding you. We have the rabbit and the rabbit. So it says too much concern with sexual matters, but the truth is, is that the rabbit is like the page of wands. It goes exploring. It goes exploring down this new pathway. And so your higher self, your highest self, is saying it's time for us to go exploring as well. Message from your highest self, please. We have here simple acts of kindness. Kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. But they want you to expand that kindness to yourself and the way that you speak to yourself and the way that you operate day to day. Consider your foundation. Look at how committed you are to love. And what I love about this is that the foundation energy is talking about the foundation that you're building. And it's talking about commitments and love. And that's the passage that your future self is really speaking about here when it comes to perhaps your insecurity about achieving that. Um, it's like maybe there's been a time delay where you feel like you should have experienced this or, or moved into that passage a little bit more quickly. But they want you to know that that's the next chapter for you is moving into a foundation phase. We have here be authentic, be real and true to who you are and how you feel during this next phase as well. message from your higher self from your future self we have here breathe Archangel Raphael says take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and release old patterns and we also have angel therapy any fears that you have give them to the angels throw them at the foot of the cross because they're leading you to a cornucopia of prosperity your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. And that's what they want you to know is that all of your dreams are coming into fruition. That the wait is, is coming to a close for you, pile two. Let's get a charm bowl, please, for pile number two. Advice from your future self about what's coming next after this passage energy. 
three of cups they're just and it's it's foundations it's commitments they're celebrating this a sense of like foundations being formed or forged they're not completely like solidified in the next little chapter but we're starting through the passages of our transformation towards those resolves or towards this this outcome with the ten of pentacles which is could be security in finances could be security in relationships home family children and the six of cups or six of pentacles coming out sideways is a reminder from your future self that we reap what we sow you know if we put energy out that's very positive we can expect that dividend to come back around to us so they just want you to enjoy and and kind of coast into this next chapter we have here in the bowl the knight of wands they're asking you to take action we have the letter a we also have here the three of wands because you're in for some huge expansion we have a a bible it says thou shalt not steal a commandment from the bible we have a dime and the dime is from the year 2001. And I think about the Six of Swords and I think of transitions into clarity. I also think of October, the 10th of any month or the 6th of any month. We have here the blue, the blue fish bones. And I do think of the divine masculine. And so I feel like we are closing the chapter on old expectations when it comes to old ghosts that we're kind of holding space for and that we're really thirsty for. Once we overcome that hurdle, we will be rewarded with the wrench energy, with the red handle, we'll be rewarded with that strength and empowerment. All right, pile number two, that's what I have for you today. I hope that it resonates with you. If it did, drop your comment below so that I can enter you in for a chance to win a free reading with me. Um, also drop any suggestions you have for reading topics in the comment below as or in the comment section below as well. I would love to... Um, hear your ideas you guys have amazing ideas so i would love to hear them you can also check out my links below for etsy for personal reading if you feel called to but i do hope that you come back here and visit me on another day at the tarot cottage and i hope you have a great day hello pile number three you were drawn to the purple flower or to the patience card and this is your reading a message from your future self um, an urgent message that you may need to hear today and the foggy bog patience you can see it has this egret standing there with its leg up and if you look at the leg it looks like a number four reversed um, which is talking about that periods of time in our life that feel very restrictive and feel very um, limiting to us where we're waiting for things to happen or we're waiting for the unknown to lift or for the fog to lift in a situation so there's a lot of uncertainty with the 18 i think about um scorpio and the moon energy so your future self is coming forward here with a message about patience and how this period of time will eventually lift for you but let's get a little bit of a deeper look into that here So a message from your future self that you need to hear I'm saying that this period of time is making you feel really insecure you have the ten of pentacles the emperor always remember that i'm dealing with collective energy so i have a lot of different energies that are floating in and out so please take the messages as they resonate here with you today and leave behind those that do not feel right to you of wands or I'm sorry the nine of wands you have the page of swords back of the deck is the page of wands and we have the wheel of fortune now there's a really strong message coming through about financial abundance and about our expectations with for financial abundance it's like you could be in a period of, of um, low coin or a lot of financial difficulties at this time you could also be sort of waiting for an opportunity to build a family or have a secure relationship as well so please take that as it resonates to your situation and there's this feeling coming in from your future self in the present where your present self feels like well maybe I'm never going to get the things that I want in life maybe I won't get the job that I want the relationship that I want the you know the security that I'm looking for overall maybe I won't get that there's even this aspect of like focusing upon practical things to bring us a lot of abundance as well we have the judgment the five of pentacles
And they're saying that like if we keep there's this, this feeling coming through about really following the collective expectations when it comes to feeling abundant in life. Your higher self says that sometimes it's easy for us to be in a present situation and, and look around at everybody else's journey and be like, why am I so behind? But we're only looking for what we want to look for in that gaze of perspective. It's like we actually turn around and look the other direction. Whoop, look in the other direction. We're going to see so many people that aren't caught up to us in that moment. So it's like a, a, a it's like a, it's like semantics. They're talking about semantics at this moment because they're saying that when we keep following the expectations of other people and don't follow the stirrings of our heart, if we go against our own natural current, we're going to hit difficulties. We're going to have a bad time is what I heard. You're going to have a bad time. And so there's this aspect about looking for things in the wrong places, looking for love in the wrong places, looking for opportunities and career in the wrong places, because you may be, again, you may be looking for opportunities that don't match what you truly want. They match what other people tell you that you want. And so this patience from your higher self, from your future self is saying, this 18 is actually a tool. It's an asset to you because I'm asking you to retreat and to really reflect upon what have you buried inside of yourself about what you want and what will bring you happiness. What will bring you, especially they're really emphasizing the work realm in this particular part of the message, but overall in general, you are, they're saying that we're limiting ourselves when we think about certain things coming in to fulfill us ultimately, because your higher self says that if you got the perfect job that made you a million dollars, that you would make that million dollars and you'd look around and say, okay, what's next? And if you met a person that fits the physical bill of what the society tells you, tells you, you should be looking for in a partner, if they're successful, if they're, you know, there's a very strong masculine energy surrounding the emperor here. It's like, if we keep focusing upon what other people tell us we should be focused upon, we are going to be disappointed every single time. And so your higher self, your future self is really asking you to go with the flow of life and go with the flow of the current of your life, even in moments where you're feeling frustrated and uncertain, use those moments of solitude of quiet to eliminate your distractions, because they are really talking about how dissatisfied you feel in this moment, but how the worst is behind you when it comes to achieving the goals that you have in life and in love. And that right now, they just need a little bit of adjustment when it comes to our focus and when it comes to our unwavering faith surrounding those things, because it's our faith that's being tested, not the outcome, not the, the not our deserving nature, not our ability to manifest. It's just our faith that's being tested in this moment. But the worst is behind you. And so the hermit in a, in a state of limbo is asking us to get grounded to the reality of a situation. They're asking us to really reflect upon where are we sitting in this moment? What part of this experience in this moment is dissatisfying to me? How unhappy am I, am I and why? You know, is it because I don't have the security that I'm looking for in, a, in my finances? Is it because I don't have the partner sitting next to me? Is it because we haven't grown the family that we're looking to grow? Is it because I haven't bought the house that I want to buy? And all of these things will tack up all of these, these lists of desires. And we're like, oh, I don't have that in the practical. So I'm, I must be off track or I must not be heading through the passages of my own transformation. When the truth is, is that spirit says you're right on track, not to worry. There's the nine of swords. They say that you're overthinking your experience. And they say that you sometimes feel like you're not accomplishing enough. When they're here to let you know that flowers, their only job is to bloom. They grow through the dirt. Every flower, no matter how beautiful it is, has to grow through the dirt. And its only job is to bloom. Other expectations that other people may throw at it. I can look at a tulip and say, go get a job making $100,000 a year. And the tulip is just going to sit there blooming. It's just going to smile at me and keep blooming. And that's what they want. Your higher self wants you to walk away from is this expectancy of others. And the same expectancy that you're now turning towards yourself. We have the Ace of Pentacles Whoop, and on the floor, the King of Swords. I'm going to put those together. If you've been waiting for opportunities in love, Spirit does see an air sign coming in for you. Um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, it's also presenting as almost like an opportunity in the work realm as well for someone. So please take that as it resonates to your situation. We have the Empress. Back of the deck is the Page of Swords and the King of Pentacles. 
And there is this message coming through about always feeling like a watcher. So we have the page of wands and the page of swords. Um, feeling like a watcher in my own experience, but spirits like you're not watching, you're participating. It's just how much you're choosing to participate at this moment. We have the king of pentacles and the ace of wands. And I do have double messages coming in for this spread, to be honest. I have a message about abundance and love. I have a message about finances improving and careers sort of being adjusted a little bit. They want you to know, first of all, that this judgment energy is all about reflecting upon the imbalances so we can get ourselves feeling like we're on track that doesn't mean we aren't already on track it's about us catching up to the reality of our situation by not letting our emotions get in the way because they want you to know that your birthright is this ten of pentacles in abundance in relationships and security this is where you're headed and this is where your future self is saying i know where you're going to head because i've been there so right now we need you to adjust about what you where you think you're headed because there's a huge discrepancy about where you think you're sitting and where you think you're headed and where you're actually going. This frustration that we're feeling in the unknown, spirits like the frustration is something that we're fueling at ourselves in this moment, but it's it, we're not going to let it go to waste because we're going to use it as a teaching element, as a tool. Because all we're trying to do is peel back the layers of who you already are. You already are the emperor. You already are the empress. And life will pack on a bunch of different colors on us. It'll make us put on different different masks it'll make us put on different pairs of pants depending on the efforts we have to put in but we're peeling back the layers and letting you know that this is who you are this is who we are your future self is saying and everything that you're going through right now is just teaching us it's it's like lifting a mirror up in front of our faces consistently like oh this is who you are so all of your goals your abundance your especially i feel like there's perhaps goals in motherhood or stability um within family units and that's going to come to fruition as well i also feel like there could be new job opportunities on the horizon as well if you're struggling um financially but they're also saying that you're going to go looking for that opportunity that not to be complacent because sometimes when we want more when we're when we want more we get stuck on the want phase you know we want more connection we want more coin but we get stuck um feeling in unprepared and we get stuck waiting for the perfect moment to present itself to us and so we perpetually get stuck but your higher self says you're going to go looking because you don't chase you attract every good thing but you're going to meet them halfway when it comes to the abundance you're not going to stay stagnant we have here close up friend pleasure with a close friend and your future self wants you to know that there's no division, that they're very loyal to you. And because they are you, the higher version of you, they are very much dedicated to your success. We have here someone you know is undependable and insincere. And we have June. It could be a name. It's also reversed. The feather here is connected to this feeling of being tied down or frustrated, the yoke. And so it definitely is our emotions that are not dependable here. Waves of emotions will throw us off track, will definitely kind of knock the wind out of us. We have here Ram, a stubborn, aggressive person. There's Taurus energy. You could be a Taurus, perhaps. They're also talking about sort of cement, overcoming or, or leaving behind difficult people, places, and things. They also want you to tap into some of that God-given stubbornness to push through this cycle of dissatisfaction. We have pay attention to your work. We have fire, a strong emotions, passionate love or hate. So I do, again, there's multiple messages coming in. An upgrade in the work realm, an upgrade in the emotional realm as well as waiting for you. And we have here waiting for news, package or letter, but beware of great pride. This message is coming in for all of you who are hoping for a new position at work or hoping for uh, an increase in coin. Your guide and your, especially your highest self is saying that we're not gonna have that handed to us on a silver platter. We are going to have to put the effort into the search. But they're also saying that they're gonna meet you halfway um, with some of that energy. They're gonna meet you halfway with the offer. When we get the momentum going, then they're going to meet us halfway with some of that energy. So they say, don't be waiting for things. Um, they say they want you to start planning and executing plans of attack. They want you to start making your, 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 taking your baby steps, eliminating distractions in whatever realm you're dissatisfied in, work or love or life, and start taking baby steps towards your goals. Because they also want to highlight manifestation in general and how we're always trying to manifest things through our thoughts alone. And 
it is a critical next step of, of implementing our physical being into that manifestation process. If we're trying to manifest something physical, we need to be a part of that physical process too. It can't all be up in the mind. So beware of great pride here. Pride being our own energy field that could convince us sometimes that we should maintain um, this imbalance or maintain the uncertainty until a perfect opportunity arrives for us. You are the opportunity, Spirit says. You will make the opportunity. You will find the opportunity. You will focus on your own growth and, and um, the inner world that is kind of feels rattled in uncertainty or uncertainty right now. And you're going to work on that until you're presented with the opportunity. We have act as if your partner is here. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they're with you so that you'll always consider them. And that's really speaking about not just the manifestation in the career realm, but also in love that leads us to this Ten of Pentacles energy. It's about manifesting in a physical way. And it sounds corny, but sometimes they even suggest, you know, sleeping on one half of the bed or cleaning out one half of the closet, just making room for growth to shake up the universe's expect expectations. We have here, treasure your loved ones. It's important to love others deeply, but it's like we don't know how to love others until we learn how to love ourselves. You know, and so there's this uncertainty about our value of like, if we don't have all of these physical things offered to us to provide value for us, then it's like we, we are being asked to tap into our inherent value as the spiritual being. Because there is this, uh, this belief system too around production. If we don't have the things that the collective tells us that we should have, then there's something wrong with how we produce and whether or not we are valuable members of this sort of human race that we're all on. But you're inherently valuable no matter what you feel like you're experiencing or what is lacking in your life right now. We have here, love makes the difference. Love helps heal past hurts and provides a sense of security and self-worth. And your future self wants more of that directed at you. Because we're setting a bar and you need to set a bar of example where other people will come and match that frequency. And you don't want to love yourself at 50% because that's not good enough for you. Message from your future self, please, for pile number three. We have here the lone wolf, lone energy. And again, there's an aspect of like being behind everyone. Because I think of the lone wolf, I think of a wolf as, you know, the leader of the pack always brings up the rear. So it would appear to someone far off that that last wolf is someone who's in behind everyone else. But the truth is they're a leader and they're making sure everybody else is safe ahead. And so they don't want you to look at yourself as behind the race, so to speak. We have the subconscious. We also have here the transformation. You can see she's taking a bite out of that apple. She's got this egg of potential that's cracked open and it's like the unknown is filled with, with so much potential for you. The future holds so much for you. And this first position column for me as a reader is very important. Not everybody reads that way. And I, I acknowledge that. Um, but this is how I read. And so this Ten of Pentacles with this first column can often mean so much because this is where we're headed, but we have to take the certain steps to see it, to reflect upon it, um, to acknowledge it, and to get there. Um, so they just want you to know that they're offering in these pearls of wisdom to keep you focused so that you don't lose that faith on your journey because everything that you want is going to come to fruition. Get one of these advice, please, from your yourself we have clairsentience notice the recurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance and don't forget who you are you know what to do trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay especially when it comes to certain unease or dissatisfaction realms um, at workplace in love if you're feeling unhappy in the work realm that's your sign to start searching you know, that's your sign. It's like the kick in the pants that we need. If you're feeling unsatisfied with your relationship status at this time, it's about reflecting upon what's creating that imbalance and trying to um, feel whole to prepare for that next chapter so that we can manifest the physical, um, the physical relationship that we want to see come in. Let's get a charm bowl, please, for pile number three. Nice for pile number three in the bowl from your higher self or from your future self. Miss the bowl. 
Ten of Swords reversed and the Eight of Wands reversed and the Four of Pentacles reversed. Um, there is these frustrating delays that you've experienced in a lot of different realms, maybe with uh, in abundance, just in a sense of security overall, maybe in relationships. Um, and this Ten of Swords is talking about how our ego has been transfixed upon certain aspects and certain goals in the collective experience that have left us feeling like if we don't catch up, we're going to be left behind in some way or that we're not valuable in our experience in some way. But the truth is, is that this Ten of Swords reverse is asking for a forgiveness cycle. It's asking for us to um, let go of those expectations and instead to allow our inner compass to guide us moving forward. And you can access that inner compass through your dream realm by relying on your notes of intu intuition and your higher self will always be there to kind of waiting in the wings for permission to guide you. We have the letter M. Oh, look at we have here. We have the tree of life and we have the when. It's like, when am I going to meet someone? When am I going to have stability? When am I going to have all of the things that I want? And here's the big um, seahorse, the biggest seahorse I have in my charm collection, which is all about surrendering, even the big things, even our big concerns, surrendering them, giving them over to spirit and just allowing them to work, allowing them to reveal to us in timing and in good time um, the passages of our transformation. Because we even have here the whale tail and it's purple, which means you are coasting. You are coasting into royalty because I always think of royal energy and moving into um, that royal position, the king and queen's position. And that's where you're headed. And they want you to know that during this period of, of uncertainty, it's okay to express yourself and to call out to God and say what's going on. They're not going to, um, you're not going to be held back because you question things or because, because you have emotional outbursts. It's the consistency that you throw that emotional outburst at the universe that really creates delays. So we have here this red lips. So it's about really think it's about attraction and about fueling yourself with everything that makes you feel beautiful and attractive. We also have here a commandment from the Bible that says thou shalt not steal. We have a rabbit and we have the wrench in our plans. You do have a new flirtation cycle for someone who's single coming forward for you where there's going to be a back and forth flirtation. Um, and you may have to push yourself extra out of your comfort zone in order to implement change there. But that's not for everyone. That's just for someone specific. All right, pal, number three, that's what I have for you today. I hope that it resonates with you. If it did, your comment would be much appreciated in the comment section below. Even if you have suggestions for other readings, other reading topics that you would like to see covered, I would love to hear your suggestions. Um, please hit your notification bell if you would like to be entered for your chance to win a free reading with me. And I will be drawing a name this week, so be sure to hit that notification bell so I can get you notified and get the ball rolling. But I do hope that you come back here and visit me on another day at the Tarot Cottage, and I hope you have a great day.